Last one. Too bad it's like really long. It's like so long. Just like get comfy. No, I'm just, I'm kidding. It's, it's super short, I swear. Uh, Blackouts is like a long conversation between a very young man and a much older man who's on his deathbed. And here the younger man is thinking back to the time they first met. At first, I'd known him by a false name. The nurses all called him Juan, John. <laughs> Only days later, after he broke our silence, did I notice his medical bracelet read Juan Gay, a name I found discordant, but also amusing. When I asked why the nurses did not use his real name, Juan explained that he'd been in and out of that place for decades. A few of the staff knew him from way back, a time when every even slightly foreign name was Americanized. The false name had carried over from the older nurses to the newer ones. Juan never much cared what they thought or what they called him. He never felt a need to correct the misapprehensions of others. Even then, I thought he'd seemed free. Though, of course, neither of us were allowed to venture any farther than the locked double doors at the end of the hall. Juan was deeply reserved and much older than the other patients, and I was deeply terrified and much younger. We sat side by side in a quiet corner on a pine bench, thickly glossed with turned and painted legs. At first, we did not speak very much. In our silent communion, we faced down the immense stretches of gray boredom. On occasion, the rebellious adolescent spirit might flare up, and I'd want to lash out, cause a scene. But I wanted more Juan's presence beside me. So I stayed quiet and still, and used the edge of my thumbnail to carve a curse into the bench, pressing so hard my wrists throbbed in the night. Such a gentle old man. Later, I would learn all manner of vocabulary to think about sex and gender, but invoking any of those words would be anachronistic. I was a teenager from bumfuck nowhere. I saw only that Juan transcended what I thought I knew about sissies. When he spoke, he spoke in illusion, literarily, often pausing to check with a look whether I followed. I don't think he expected me to understand directly, but rather, he wanted me to understand how little I knew about myself, that I was missing out on something grand, a subversive variant culture and inheritance.